we're going to tie the Quill LDO. So it's a fly that I did feature in, um, in, the latest, uh, in one of the latest videos on tying quill bodies. But it's such a great early season dry fly that I couldn't leave it out of this video. So here we go, we've got a Partridge SLD, um, just the standard one. So the lighter wire hook and in a size 12. Uh, thread wise, we're going to change from the brown thread to a pale olive. Uh, again, Semperfly waxed uh, in 12 o And we're just going to start a little bit back from the eye and take our thread all the way to the back of the hook there. Trim that out. So I tend to only tie this pattern in um, with the darker body in two sizes, which is a 12 and a 14. Um, but I then do a lighter bodied one for a bit later in the season, uh, which I'll do from usually from a 14 all the way down to an 18. You can do 20, but I tend to change the body then. Uh, tail wise, we're back on our Cop de Leon fibres. And we're just going to trim out again to the five. Let them get them again about the body length. Thread up through thumb and forefinger and just slide it down on top of the hook. And then wind that all forward. What I tend to find with the large dark olives, I don't like to build up too much body bulk. Uh, I like to have it fairly uniform, uh, the fish seem to enjoy it that way. So if the fish like it, why, why change it? So wrap that back down, then we're going to take the quill that we're going to use. So this is the Semperfly Inferno uh, Goose by it. Uh, this is dark olive. Uh, you can do it with a brown as well. The brown works quite well for the large dark olives. But, uh, so I've taken one by it there. And if I was tying a smaller size, I would split it. But on this bigger one, quite often we'll keep it as it is. You just trap the tip of it in with the curve of the quill going up. So trap that down and then take our thread to the front, roughly where we're going to start the wing. I like to do this with my fingers rather than a hackle plier. So take it over and then push it round with your forefinger. So you're taking the strain off the fibre as you wrap. And you'll see as this goes you're getting a lovely segmentation. And the lovely thing with these goose bites, you get it with turkey bites as well, is you get this raised, raised section. It's a bit fiddly when you tie them off. But make sure you get plenty of thread down on that so it's not going anywhere. And some in front. And you can trim that out there. Don't worry about it standing up at the moment because we're going to get our trusty CDC where we're going to take three feathers generally try and get three relatively identical feathers with a good amount of fibres in them and pair up the tip so they're all together, all draping in the same direction and then brush the fibres together so you really are able to get the bulk of the material together. So again you're looking for about the length of the body in front of the eye. So we'll match that up facing forward. Really bind that down. 
I wasn't happy with that. And then just trim that. Leave a little bit of a bump. I like to leave the bump because that helps to build up the thorax area. And then just take a very simple natural hair zip blend uh, to work on your thorax area. Bind that to the thread. And begin to build that up. If you've not got enough, then add a little bit more. You're just looking to build up that sort of wing bud area. Add a bit of a leggy. That's why we use a natural dubbing like hairs there. You want it to be leggy and offer a bit of profile on the surface. Then pull your wing back and build up some thread on the front. What that will do is then push the wing up. So it looks almost like the natural thing as it's coming down. I mean, we can pick it out as a as a fisher and. Fortunately, the fish seem to take it as the real thing, so it's a perfect little little pattern. Really simple to tie and really effective in the early season. So then we look to finish it in front of that CDC wing. That once, twice just for security there. And then in with our scissors, just open them out, don't cut, just push. And that will finish your little quill bodied LDO. Perfect, I find this pattern works really well in early April in the UK. Um, that's when the fish seem to really lock onto them. Sometimes if we have a hot spring, it will happen more in March. Uh, and unfortunately we then miss it on our rivers down in the south. But if you travel a bit further afield, um, further north in the, in the UK um, or further west, uh, the rivers are open and the large dark olives are hatching.